person. He is the senior vice president of BJP. Professor Sanjay Dasokara Razia, University of Samoa State, and take their seats. She is also involved in different activities of the organization for the prohibition of chemical weapons, OPCW, as well as in other private sector industries. He has wide experience in working with dyes and fine chemicals. Government is planning to revisit the environmental rules and regulations in partnership with CSX, DOE, uh, Department of Environment, and Paralyzed Flood Management Guideline last year in 2016. In today's work, sustainability is a core component of FX support from all stakeholders. We want a uh, uh, criticism, but constructive criticism. Uh, we, we like to have constructive and we want to improve. Uh, I think today you want to listen from them, you will, you will know and you will have more knowledge. They will share the panel here uh, uh, and we like to listen from them and we want to learn from them. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But uh, it's, a, it's a privilege to be able to come today and present the King of the Speech, um, uh, respected guests, your organizers, and my fellow colleagues, and uh, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Yes, it's still this morning. In a few minutes, maybe I go my house to see the camera. So let's start with the, we started, but it is not before 1982 though, that the industrial, and if you talk about basic chemicals, ceramics and other industry, they actually came in the scene later on, to have more and more pharmaceutical industry. We would expect that our local chemical industry will grow. People will invest here, and they will take the opportunity. Look at the history. We really didn't have many of them because we really didn't have many chemical industries. So if I count, it was the first one would be in 1974 in BCIS, one of the BCIS factories. The second one would be in 1991. That was also in one of the BCIS factories. Third one would be in 2006, then 2010. 2010 is a landmark because that was nuclear fire. We all remember. That is that. But then we have 2010, 11, 14, but look at 2016. It spread in the community and kill people. So when you have flammable material, you have explosion, you have property damage. So I'd like to mention the new 25, the third 2010. We all knew that it was a special day for a family. Fire broke out. And because it was chemical related fire, it burned very fast. And 123 people died very fast in law, but then what can we do? This is our Bangladesh, and the government has to do something about that. That was unfortunate. Because the plant people, they knew is chlorine, and they couldn't do much about those tanks. What can happen to the community? We did some of the simulation for that office. For example, one quick thing I want to show you that Tampaco, if you look at the location of Tampaco, this is what we need. So what do we mean by integrated chemical management? When we talk about integrated chemical management, we have whatever regulations we have for transport that must be understood how to dispose these things. And then of course we need to understand the procedure for production. We do not know what are we dealing with. If we do not know what are the chemicals we are, you know, handling, how would we do the management? Have here, they should work together to establish a common and universal uniform leveling system for the country. Otherwise, you cannot have a chemical, you cannot have a chemical management system or you cannot ensure safety. This is the leveling system, you do not have comprehensive legal, you know, provision. But what, what can we do now? So the way forward would be from government part, we can request our government to introduce comprehensive legislation addressing labeling, transport, storage, manufacturing, and disposal of chemicals. And also, government can form proper inspection and enforcement body. But at the same time, industry also needs to take some initiatives. 
They should not think that providing safety is a cost without any benefits. They should not think like that. They should think that safety is the benefit. Because if you have an accident, everything is gone. Your reputation, including your reputation. And you can never be a better part. So spending for safety is really spending for your profit. Safety personnel. And so we need education and training on keeping of safety. If we do not have experts, if we do not have safety personnel, who will do the job? So we will provide training and education. And currently, we already offer courses at the undergraduate and postgraduate level. All our graduates who know that we can have courses safe. And I already told that we have been, we are offering DP and courses, and particularly we are processing everything occupational and process safety on site and we check the procedures and we, we compare them with the standard procedures and we go back to the system and we try to improve. Thus, national prioritization and collaboration of industry and academia will facilitate the adaptation and implementation of chemical management and safety. Very well said, Professor. And she talked about the, uh, the positive side, as she said, was the new industry policy and the drug control policy in 1982. And she had to enact a law and form policy for the chemical management. And since accidents, Mars, the revenue, and you can take measures. Respected Chairman Mr. Chairman, our chief guest, honorable speakers, and uh, Ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon and strong day. Uh, after a very comprehensive discussion about the chemical management and safety, from the society, the earlier TV speaker, Professor Professor Gandhi, earlier, she elaborately discussed about the power institutions and about uh, what to do. To going to convey of the management of chemical uh, environment and uh, safety. The functions of our presentation, I would like to tell about something the safety and security concept. Actually, uh, nowadays, the chemical safety as well as chemical security, this becomes a uh, widely used worldwide. That's why uh, the factory is in the but CQB is caused by some deliberate action, maybe from a single or maybe from a single. And if we call to, to prior disuse, package stored, produced, all these things. And also there are 25 regulations on human health, environmental protection and safety, compliance and prevention. You see, again, go ahead and come this. Because I will take some and play the reporter role to very big society. Conclusion, we need to slow and take care, improve and continue this. In the last 20 years, I worked in the current field like Dying, Sene, Fertilizer, Hydrogen Parasite, and Cosmic Soda. We have existing uh, regulations, but that may or may not be sufficient to address safety HC. <clears throat> and ultimately, the persistent bioaccumulative and toxic chemicals, those could be very persistent and very bioaccumulative. Those could be carcinogenic, like it can create cancer, cause cancer. 
fragrance they're producing or they're they're uh, they're buying products from Bangladesh. So, so now since those brands they're more focusing on good ZTC program, being the supplier and Bangladeshi supplier, we need to address. <coughs> now, uh, as a part of ZTC program, uh, uh, like uh, different lists of chemicals which are called restricted substance list RSO are developed to address different hazardous chemicals needs and uh, heavy metals, uh, uh, the volatile compounds, so lots of chemicals. Now what is the prospect? We, we see the limiting factors. Uh, we need to develop the awareness like there are hazardous chemicals and those chemicals are not allowed to be in our product. So that kind of awareness we need to uh, make and we need to comply with the ZTHC. Leather industry, leather industry, fertilizer industry or any, any fine chemical industry, doesn't matter at all. Chemical is chemical. A sulfuric acid is as potential in a textile industry as it is in, in a fertilizer industry. So we need to develop the chemical management system. We do understand we, we are progressing in different industrial sectors. We are still learning. But at the same time, because once you open, once you close one door, that will open ten new doors. So I consider that a new opportunity for us. And ultimately, would like who knows, maybe by 2025, that would be 150 billion dollars. So, but at the same time, we need to make it very much sustainable. Uh, I I stop here. I leave the prospect and challenges of ZTC program in Bangladesh to the next lecture and thank you all for your patience and for your time. Uh, just uh, for a uh, request for the most active background, what is the interesting? Just the ZTC group of environment here, environment here, virtual order, safer opportunities, and audit protocols. What means MRSL and PRSL? MRSL means the restricted substance list for manufacturing and uh, for the chemical manufacturer. Number three, Bangladesh has an advantage in producing labor products. Almost 261 people in Bangladesh feel they want to show anything the lead type of shipment. This is a very important point of lead type of shipment. For them, the branded companies are now interested to work in Bangladesh. Our dining implement industry of 241 degrees. Are in the website, everybody, everybody can inspect the pack and see the report uh, online. Uh, nowhere in the world is like this. Even any person can visit our factory at any time. And uh, we have gone to a zero tolerance on that uh, because we have closed down after uh, all the audit. We have done factory by factory, on the factory inspection, and we have completely closed down 39 factories. And uh, the other factories which require some uh, cash, what we call collection action plan, and uh, it is happening, and we have seen the cigarette file paper, uh, uh, but we want all our factories to be more safer. Uh, she gave importance on labeling of product. Uh, we have to have a chemical management. We must have a safety of chemical. We, we have no traction because uh, we, the country, where huge number of population, uh, less land, so we have to produce more food than uh, all our uh, factory, all our company more compliant and there is a, uh, other panelists are also spoke, there is an opportunity to have more direct chemical company in Bangladesh. So, uh, because uh, right now uh, there are uh, more uh, uh, happy to have uh, uh, your feedback. Thank you very much. Question and suggestion. Uh, Bangladesh sustained for the way. I don't know. 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 I don't know.